Let's take a look at a low dropout voltage regulator. A voltage regulator looks something like this. A common voltage regulator is the LM317. I did a video on how to set that up. But with regular voltage regulators, their dropout voltage can be up to an entire uh, volt. So if you have a power source and you want your output just to be slightly less than your input, a regular voltage regulator is not going to work. So that's where a low dropout reg voltage regulator comes into place. With this, the power source that I have with it is a lithium phosphate battery that has a nominal output voltage of 3.2 volts. But when fully charged, this battery can output um, up to 3.6 volts. And in this case, is outputting 3.42 volts, which is too much for the LEDs that I want to power. So I'm using a 3.3 volt voltage regulator that's going to take the output from this battery and drop it just a little bit so that it's never greater than the 3.3 volts coming out of this. And so in this case, I've just got a simple circuit here wired up to this low dropout voltage regulator. And you'll notice that I'm getting the 3.29 volts, so about exactly what the voltage regulator is rated to do. So it brought it from 3.45 down to 3.3. So with the low dropout voltage regulator, you're able to just um, adjust that voltage very slightly and the dropout rating on, on this one is um, up to about um, just a, a fraction of a, of a volt. But um, the downside to using a low dropout voltage regulator is that um, the amount of current that you can push through this is significantly lower. So with this product, it's 500 milliamps. Um, compared to an LM317 that has a much greater um, capacity for current. But if you're working with simple electronics with LEDs, the low dropout voltage regulators work great and they allow you to have a, a very low input uh, voltage and output um, without getting a lot of um, dropout voltage.